welcome to the official Munzee podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munzee. And I'm Craig, also known as Seymour Shell. I'm an avid Munzee player and here to explore the game further. Each week, we'll delve into Munzee's mysteries, divulge some secrets, and inform players from around the world just what's coming your way. So sit back, relax, as today's episode, we may dive a little bit further into last week because we did did a big rush last week as well. <laughs> but also, we've got some of this fire dragon mech coming out. Do I say that right, Rob? Yes, mech? I think so. Is it the right? I do say yeah. it right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, man. Yeah. What a week last week, eh? That was a big, a big episode last week, um, mate. Yeah. So <laughs> apologies to anyone who actually thinks that uh, I have the ability to stick to 30 minutes. Um, yeah. Once, <laughs> once you get me talking. I had your reins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had your reins and everything, Rob, and I still couldn't pull you in. But that's okay, yeah. mate. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. And to be honest with you, it was all relevant and uh, critical information that was required to get out to the masses. So, yeah, yeah I do appreciate that. So that was good. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, or I hope, I hope that everyone um, enjoys actually hearing a little bit more, um, you know, about what's going on and some of our reasoning. Mm. And people do actually request that information. And I'm not going to be writing it all the time. Um, out there because mm-hmm, sometimes mm-hmm. writing it out uh, comes to bite me um, right in the butt. Yep. Um, after <laughs> um, after a period of time, people come back with like, "Well, six months ago, here's what you said," and it's like, "Oh my gosh, yeah." So yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> this way they can listen to you. But also I find that sometimes people can read into things too much, just like text messages, et cetera, yeah. as well. People can read into things too much and uh, and try and get their own spin on things, whereas you having a voice a voice for the people that's it's pretty good i like that i like that so what have you been up to anyway this week so uh i've been chasing the sun still hanging out in florida just have had an opportunity yeah to to have a bit of extended time so i've really enjoyed uh spending that time with my son and you know just kind of seeing daily life here and also just setting up camp and and uh and and working um, in sunshine, Lou out riding her bike. Mm-hmm. I've been capping yeah. daily, chasing bouncers. What? You know, yeah. What? I know, man. What Look at know? you actually playing the game again. Some some days. So, <laughs> you know, we talk. We have talked about the reason for the greenies coming back is just to encourage that yep. daily activity user and the daily play and. You know, just Mm -hmm. just seeing people getting back out and spending more time walking, more time um, just out there, I don't know, playing the game. So if that's what we're looking for, then the the best case is that it actually does the same thing for me. And, you know, once once I get back home, then I'm going to have all those greenies to go and do the same thing with. But I'm actually able to do it here, too, which is nice. So anywhere I go, the greenies are there. Yes. Exactly. That's really nice. That's really, and, and and very similar to me, Rob, over the last week too. I'm still on the road. I'm still traveling. If you can't hear it in, in the car, the podcast car, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was down in, in Mississippi and down near the Gulf Coast of Mississippi as well. And uh, this reminded me. So I actually did a, a tip, a video tip as well, and I put it on my social medias. But apart from that, we'll get to that at the end of the okay. show. But there was, there's a really long pier going out, and I can't even think where it actually was. It might have been in sort of, um, oh, I can't even think now where it was. But uh, Biloxi? Yeah, it was anyway. It was a, I don't know if you made it to Biloxi. Biloxi, yeah, yes. Yeah, Just a Biloxi, lucky that's guess. It. That's yeah, one that's of the, the main, main cities in Mississippi yeah. along the coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the one. No wonder I could remember it. But, yeah, there was a beautiful long pier. Now, Rob, there was two players, obviously, that they've actually placed out – one fitness munzee, one greenie, one fitness munzee, one green, all the way along. And they're exactly the same, like the correct distance apart. Uh So like not too big, not too small. It's just a nice. And, um, and I thought to myself, well, there was only, there was only like a couple, two out of the whole 50 plus missing. So, Mm. but I thought what a beautiful walk. It was stunning. And now with the greenies coming back, you could do that walk daily. And there's a purpose for that walk, and it's a beautiful walk, wow. you know, if you lived in that area. And I think, thought to myself, this is probably one of the reasons if if those people who live in an area and uh, that they've got nice walking tracks like this, it encourages them to, to put out greenies for other players to do their walks, for, and then they'll put out for you to do your walks, that sort of thing too. Yeah. So, that's yeah, really yeah. cool. So that's that's what I've been up to, mate. Still, uh, still going around. Meanwhile, I'm heading towards the uh, – Alabama coast hey. now, uh, down the Gulf Shores. 
Because, Rob, I don't know if you've heard or not, there's actually a geocaching mega coming up uh, in a week and a half's yeah. time. It's called Bamarama. That's the mega. Bamarama. I like and it. So, Bamarama. Yeah. And so, myself and Minnesota boy from, uh, from obviously, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> from shocking. I say yeah. since, uh, I say things sometimes, Rob, but I don't even know I say it until I straight after I said it. But anyway, um, we've decided to host an event, Rob. Now, the event down there is on the Friday, not the Saturday, so it doesn't actually coincide with the mega because we didn't really get permission from the the mega host. Uh, you you wouldn't fine. you wouldn't get permission for a Munzee yeah. event from no. mega hosts, yes? No, <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. So, so uh, uh, Tim and I we we've done it separately, and uh, so far, Rob, there's five. Well, there's four, but there will be five attendees. <laughs> That's it so far. Um, I mean, so if anyone out there coexists and you're going to be at the Bamarama Mega. Try and get there the day before on the Friday afternoon. It's in between. There's an event in the morning. There's an event at night, but ours is in the middle of the day. Um, a a Munzee event in the middle of the day itself from there. Oh, Rob, I'm going to put out the pins. Okay. You know, but you know, you know what though? I'm going to have to get help, Rob. After my last tragic event, uh, you know, issues. Dale and Barb are going to oh, be yeah. there from a Space That's, Coast. That yeah, is they're going to be there. Top tier help. Top tier help from Dale and Barb, exactly. right? So they know how to do exactly. all of that. Tim, having been mm -hmm. to so many Minnesota events, maybe he can bring yep. in some of the fun element for what they do at Minnesota yep. events. I mean, it, really, you've got exactly. a chance. You've got a chance for this to be yeah. a really good event and um, a lot of fun. For four of us. Yeah, I mean, you, <laughs> the four of you are going to have a great time. I've got a feeling. <laughs> Mind you, there is one person who's coming who doesn't put in his will attend. And I know he doesn't do this because he's just too lazy. That's the Joshua, the geocaching blogger. Right. He's going to be there as well because, I mean, I'm his I'm his driver. So right. he's going to be there. He has to be there too. So how's that for – you can get a coexist badge with uh, with him. Was it coexist? No, what's his badge? Hey, uh, his is the just GCV. the GCV, yeah. Yeah. yeah the gcv you can get he's going to have the gcv badge so you can come along and cap that as well so i think all four of us have already got it so yeah. i mean it's going to be a small event otherwise but we'll let you know next week yeah. so that's what i've been up to rob so very good go. well good luck um thank you mate let's talk about the week that was though rob we had events in the u.s they're in uh, pennsylvania we had two in california we had south carolina alabama and missouri as well in the world and we had, we had two in canada and ontario and surrey we had austria netherlands there were three in germany and those were in delbruck bonn and berlin wow wow the leaderboards over the weekend because it was double points. Remember as well, Friday we had Humbird Seven. Whoa, what? They've coming back at the, at Wheeling, yeah. five hundred and fifty-seven thousand points. Cap Jack's crew on three hundred and forty-seven thousand points, and the odd one, three hundred and thirty-six thousand. The odd one. I, I like that name too. Right? Yeah. For, for the odd one, that's right. On Saturday, Rob, we Saturday, had... Saturday, we had Aaron Sug at 497,000 and Humbird 7 making that run back to number one with 455,000. Uh, FRLK at 405,000. Wow, wow. They, they did do a big run back to first, didn't they? Mm -hmm. They, got, they yeah. got spooked, I think. So Sunday, we had... A, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Uh, Jellery. At six hundred nine thousand, Losh family at four hundred and seventy one thousand points. Losh, that's what I need. That's who I need, uh, Rob, at my event is Losh family because he does all the yeah. Minnesota events. Great job. Yeah. And China Bulls at three hundred and ninety thousand points. China Bulls, that's a new name as well for the for the leaderboards. Good job. Yeah. Mm. Good to see those uh, new names. Uh, then let's see this upcoming weekend. We've got some uh, events going. On, there's two in Florida, there's one in Texas and North Carolina. And then around the world, we have Victoria, Australia. That's it. So <laughs> none <laughs> others around. The world. It's, it's Again, it's the same thing, Rob. It's coming up to the end of the month, you know, and, and people don't need their the clan wars stuff anymore. So it dies down again. You know, this is what happens yeah. every single month. I take it. So yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, also on leap day, we've got a lot mm -hmm. of events go that are going on. So that's kind of cool to see, mm -hmm. um, which is February 29th. We have Indiana, South Carolina, Rhode Island, and Arizona. And then in the world, we've got England, Netherlands, and Spain. Yeah, so, I did see that. There's more on the February 29th than there is the weekend before. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Fun to see. Now there is a double points weekend every weekend this month, including this weekend coming as well. This weekend we have cards, temps, flats, greenies, and gaming. 
So yeah. there you go. They're the they're the five types we have for double points this week. I said double points, not double demerits. You see, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to doing, trying to get that out better. of me. So exactly, yep, done better today. Large events coming up, Rob, after February. Of course, we're going to plug it again. California, March 8 and 9, 40 plus attendees now. So it's getting there. It's getting there. So, and as we said before, uh, I'm going to say it in, in the order I like Mari, Lou, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> yeah. Rob and myself are going to be there in attendance. So there we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, no, I hate to tell you, but you left Tamara out. And the reason that no, you left Tamara out more yeah. than likely, well, you only said Mari. Um, is that Tamara is the really quiet one. Um, oh. So in all of our meetings, she's very quiet. She's very thought. thoughtful. And because she is very thoughtful, she um, sometimes her ideas come out after the fact. Oh. So she'll be there, though. <laughs> That's so right. everyone I thought I meant to put out. Tamara. I meant to put Tamara after Lou and before Craig. So <laughs> uh, That makes sense. The ladies first, and then you go to <laughs> the rest of us. I agree. Exactly. Yeah. Then after that, Rob, we have uh, Darts Farm in England on March 9th. There's 30 there so far as well, which is really cool to see. They might, yeah, yeah. It looks like there might be a couple of uh, mega events that weekend, which is really cool. Yeah. Now, again, I'm going to plug this again. ACT in Australia, Rob, There's uh, they're up to 20, I do believe now. Um, okay. Now, I've reached out to my Australian friends. You know what they've said to me? They've said, what? Craig, we're so laid back. We're just gonna We're just going to do it. We don't need the we don't need the numbers in the will attends or the the attendees. We need them after the fact for for Munzee, not like geocaching. So uh, they're like, we'll we'll just do it on the day. I'm like, oh, okay, fine, just do it on the day. Then we'll see. You know, <laughs> you know, it's not required to put it on the calendar in order it's to cap not. everything. So that's perfectly fine. I hope that they take a chance to actually you know go around and talk to all of the geocachers that are there. Mm-hmm. Talk to them about this other game that's Munzee, it's not a mm. new game. It's just a refreshed game that mm. um, if they've ever looked at it before, as you know, oh, it's yeah. quite different. Oh, yeah. very, very different. Very different. Uh, then after that, we have Nottingham, England on April 6th, 35 there so far. And then Minneapolis on May 10th to 12th, Munzee Mania. And of course, we're both going to be there, Rob. So, And yes. if you have an, a growing event, reach out to us and uh, let us know. And uh, if you want something that's going to be large and you want more publicity about it, let me know and we'll go from there. So that's yeah. the week that was, Rob, and also any events. So now we get to the duck's guts of it. What's coming up this week, Rob? What's what's all well, this, this now? What's new for us? Well, let's see. This week we announced um, something that's pretty important, which is the uh, double points weekends for March. And mm-hmm. so we know what's going to happen. We're going to see more events pop up on the calendar for these two weekends. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one is going to be March 8th through 10th. And as usual, we're going to have cards, temps, flats, and then we've got, oh, and greenies. Those have mm-hmm. been the four constant in case everyone hasn't noticed. And yep. then we add in one more category uh, just so that it kind of spreads it out, spreads the love. So with this first weekend, it's all the virtual colors. Oh, so yes, uh, yes, yes. be prepared, be prepared for that. That is going to be a big um, event weekend. So get out to an event then. Now, when you say virtual colors, it also includes white guys. Yes, uh, I have had questions yeah. about that. So when yeah, you see yeah. virtual colors, it's all virtuals, but just the, just the letter V. And just virtual, yes. not not all virtuals in general, just the virtuals that are colored in different colors and also white yes. as well. So the, the <laughs> base white virtual and yep. all 64 other colors. 64, yes. Rob, there you go. 64. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That Crayola um, package, yep. you know? Yeah, yep. yeah. Actually, before we move on, I, I almost forgot. Yesterday, Rob, we were recording this on Wednesdays. Yesterday mm-hmm. being Tuesday. Did you see he was number number one in the world for yesterday, Rob? Did you see? Did you see? No, no, oh, I did not. Who was oh, it? Oh, well, you're looking at him now. Just saying. Oh, oh yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Congrats to you. I've already got the badge, and I thought, oh, oh, gee, yeah. I've already got the first badge. I'm joking. But uh, what made me laugh more, Rob? And I've met this guy. Have a guess who was second. Have a guess you've, who was second. And I've met, met him. him. I've met him well, in Florida uh, as well. I was going to say, was it Florida? Probably in Florida. Yeah, in um, Florida. I met him in Florida. Jack Sparrow. Jack no, Sparrow. no, 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 oh. no. He was he's second because I think that's the oh. the place he likes to be. He's second. Oh he's no way! Munzee, Munzee Prof. No Munzee way. Prof got second to me this time. So uh, a big oh, shout wow. out to him. I know he listens to this podcast as well. So yeah. well done, mate. Yeah. You got second again. Good job. 
<laughs> That's funny. Funny know, and sad all at the same time. But I he know. enjoys it. He does. He does. And a great guy as well. Good to talk to you, mate, too. So, uh, yeah. What else is happening, Rob? We have the, the March. Did you say the 22nd and 24th? We've no, got more? No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, so March 20, more? 22nd through 24th. It's again going to be cards, temps, flats, greenies, mm-hmm. and then this time we're throwing jewels in there as well. Uh, jewels amongst the mix. So I like the jewels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're yes. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then after so, that we have, yeah? Yeah. The other thing that we uh, have also announced this week, which uh, is in the future for the two of us because mm-hmm. it's uh, it's being released on Thursday, is something that you enjoy, a new secret z Oh, I do. I've done all of them, Rob, because I remember mm-hmm. you putting out those secret Zeops like a, a while ago and all you put out all the old ones as well. Well, yeah. I, I, I chucked down some dollars. I went, you know what? I've got to do all these at once, you know, so <laughs> and I've, I've yeah. got them all done. And for me, they're all done now. So I'm like, OK, what else is there to do? Thank you for putting yeah. this one out. What's this one involve? So this one is dragon themed, uh, right. which, again, we've talked about on this podcast, that this mm-hmm. is the year of the dragon. Yeah. And conveniently, we have a dragon in the game. And so we're focusing a lot of things on that dragon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just kind of gives us um, something easy to think about whenever we're talking about, hey, what's next? Um, so it's all dragon themed and there's a cool new mech. And that new mech is called Firewall. Now, of course, wow. we we throw, you know, code yeah. language into it. Exactly. So the there's a lowercase I, there's a three for an E, and there's an at sign for the A. Oh, so yeah. firewall. Oh, now. firewall. So firewall go. is a fire breathing dragon. And mm. if you look at it, you might see that there's some inspiration and uh, it kind of goes around the Great Wall of China. Oh, oh. Well, I'll tell you now, Rob, you're, Munzee itself are not dragging their feet with new innovations, just saying. Mm. Oh, man. Chuckle, you have a drink chuckle. then. Sorry, you nearly, you nearly spat out your drink then. I'm sorry. I no. do apologize. Yeah. I, I took, took, a, took a second, took a chance to have a drink there. And, uh, so and it was the a, wrong time. Yeah, delayed <laughs> chuckling of, uh, of uh, their, your, your funny joke. Oh, well, I, I know, right? I'm very, I, I laugh at myself so because sometimes no one else does. Anyway, that's, all that matters. that's really cool, Rob. So, uh, what what more can you tell us about this new secret Zeops? Um, like, uh, what? How do we how do we go about getting it? How do we obtain this secret okay. Zeops? So the only way to get secret Zeops is through the app, and mm-hmm. um, there's a special secret Zeops um, section mm-hmm. to the daily Zeops. So that's right. the little um, bullseye looking thing on the right hand side of the app yeah um takes you into the a version of the app store and mm-hmm. you're able to add that one into your um your uh whatever roster your yeah. lineup of here's some new stuff so with this coming out at the end of the month then that gives everybody a reason to get out there if they've already got their claim requirements done mm-hmm. why not go chasing so that you can deploy the first or the 10th or the 50th um, firewall dragon exactly i do notice a lot of people when they do a, a post the hashtag number one they do like to brag about it on the water cooler too so i love Don't that they? i love to see who's you know what carson carson buckeye cash a 111 he's been number one a few times i've noticed too so yeah. now the cost the cost involved there is a cost involved in in this yeah. many zeds is it it's 1500 zeds so yep. possible that you know some people may have saved up over a few months yeah. from clan requirements or sorry mm-hmm. clan rewards um or just earning through normal gameplay yep 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 and if you don't Otherwise, have it and you really want to do it you can purchase it through the app the, well separately the yes the actual best price for you to get those ads is through our online store however you can uh pay for them through the app in the app mm-hmm. store and you can get them at resellers as well i do believe uh, is it three yes resellers. one of them one of them. Yeah, one has the uh, ability. Yeah. Sorry Space Coast. Three. Good. Yeah. Dale and Barb. A big shout, big shout out to Dale. I love Dale and Barb. I think they're great people. So <laughs> the big Thank shout you. out to them. All right. And now the other question I have, Rob, is: Is there any time limit to uh, if you if you no. you know you, you're a slow player? Is there any time limit to this the secret seal? No. No, No? this one doesn't have any of the uh, days of activity involved. So that means Mm -hmm. that, you know, Carson can go chasing number one and he can have it in 30 minutes or three hours, whatever time it takes for him to to get it done. And not just him, obviously, but, you know, you said number one, maybe so. Yeah, yeah. And and if that's the case, then is there any time limit in terms of, 
you know, if I'm a slow player, for instance, and I and I, I purchase this and I, I slow play, it, there's no, it's not going to end. There's no end point in time until you, Take you actually do all it. the time you want. Yeah. Uh, I think it was. I think it was last month. I think it was January when I completed the. I got the turkey that was from oh, yes. not two months behind, but it took me, I think, 14 months to <laughs> complete the Thanksgiving <laughs> one from the previous November. So, wow, um, proof, Rob. proof that it truly can take as long as you want. Exactly. So, there, there you go, guys. So, make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure you get into uh, 1500 Zs for this particular secret. Secret Zero Dragon themed. It sounds really cool. I'm really looking forward to it, Rob. And of course, I'm going to be uh, obtaining this myself. So there we go. Now, Rob, cool. last week we got cut off. I mean, we didn't get cut off, but you sort of raced. You raced ahead at the end. Now, yeah. I've had a couple of people reach out to me and go, Craig, we listened to the podcast and Rob didn't slow down his speech. And you made mention of that too. You said, I didn't even <laughs> slow down. But you made mention about something coming up in the future. Now, one question is I got was, did Rob get in trouble for that? <laughs> <laughs> no. And, and then other questions I got was, uh, was like, you know, can Rob explain a little bit more about what mm -hmm. he was saying in regards to the, this, this chasing thing, whatever it's called, the unicorn you said. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, you know, we did speed through the end. We talked about the, the map pack and then we talked about the um, one user piece of the app. And uh, so hopefully we got enough information out there to everyone. But I did take a 30 seconds to end everything to say, you know, here's the roadmap. Here's where we're headed. Um, it talked about this daily stroll that's coming up. Um, and no, I did not get in trouble for the things that I said. So it didn't, it didn't slow down, but I was thinking as fast as I possibly could. I didn't have a script written out, but I probably should have. Um, just to stick to a couple of major points. But, um, you know, kind of like what, what we've been talking about, we're looking to increase daily activity. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking to increase to take people who only play once a week or once a month or those mm -hmm. kinds of things. We want, uh, we want people to be active. Um, we want people to play for the reasons that they play. Mm -hmm. We're giving everyone an opportunity to get out there and get those greenies, get your POIs every day. Um, this daily stroll is kind of going to be a combination of those two things. And uh, Cappy's going to show up. He's going to, to give you things that you um, will go and chase. Um, there's going to be uh, a good amount of activity that will come from that. Uh, some of the inspiration from it comes from other location-based games that, uh, that have some similar types of uh, things. Mm -hmm. But we always put a little Munzee spin on it. And yeah. then what we also talked about quickly, well, what I talked about was um, these wishing wells. And so uh, some of the things that happen with Cappy, uh, you're going to kind of be able to redeem um, something. Beta mm -hmm. testers are going to see this first. It's coming soon. And uh, these wishes are going to be things that apply um, instantly into oh, wow. the game. Yeah. Wow. And so, you know... I, yep. I, I, I'm not able slowing down, uh, to, <laughs> to really put a lot of the wishes out there because for this, we have a couple of base wishes that we're going to start the testing with, but mm -hmm. we really are going to lean on the beta testers to help us decide, um, uh, how not, not cost because it's mm -hmm. not, it's not dollar cost, yep. but what, what should it take to redeem these wishes? What would you like to see as wishes? Um, cash rewards, obviously not going to happen. Um, but additional gameplay, how can yes. we, how can we extend this into getting people out there and doing just a little bit more, enjoying yeah. things just a little bit more, yeah. capping greenies on the way back to wherever they, you know, mm. started their daily stroll, those kinds yeah. of things. Like what, what can we do? Giving people a reason to get out there in Munzee a little bit more. Wow. Wow. That sounds exciting. I, I do like that. And I do know as well, Rob, uh, that a lot of people, people play Munzee for different reasons. I mean, you know, one of my, my new referrals, I've got a new referral, Rob, and one of my new referrals reached out to me and she's, and she's like, she loves all the artwork. So again, this push this out to your team, mate, they love, she loves the artwork. And so the, all the bounces, yeah. What she does is she'll look at the bouncer first and she's, she's, she'll be at home, for instance, right? And mm. she'll have to go out to get the bouncer, but she'll look at the bouncer first. Now, if the bouncer's one she's already got and she doesn't really 
like it that much. Like the the what do you call it? There's um the ones with the dual heads. Those ones. Oh, she's yeah. she's like oh yeah they're 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 yeah. all right. But her favorite. Funfinity. Yeah. Funfinity. Yeah. But her favorite yeah. is the puffle. So if she sees a puffle, hmm. she's going to drive out of her way just to obtain that puffle. Like she's she literally <laughs> gets out of her pajamas and puts on her clothes and gets her keys and off she goes. So hey man, go. hey, so, if if that's what it takes to get people dressed and out the door, cool. Exactly Andy does right. some amazing art and. Mm-hmm. Uh, We've got some really cool stuff coming up. He's always um, he's always yeah. putting new stuff together, so that's really cool. I'm glad to hear that. I'll yeah. pass that along to him. Yes, yeah, that's. I mean, yeah. So as I said, people play this game for different reasons, but at the end of the day, your job is just get people outside, mate. You know, um, yeah. fresh air, sunshine, activity. You know, yeah. enjoying what they enjoy the most, whether it's points or whether it could be, you know, oh, I love the puffle, like you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> We we so love hearing go. we love hearing those stories and you've heard a few of them yeah. you know, in person at events as well so yeah it's good yeah. to hear good to hear that people are uh, are out there doing these things losing mm-hmm. weight walking further it's mobility exactly. it's it's getting yep. people out of the car it's getting people out of the house um, yeah you know we've talked yeah. about the mental health aspects of all of it and mm-hmm. um, yeah we just we want to we want to give people more more reason to do that. Exactly. So talking about bounces, Rob, this is going to lead us now, look at this for a segue, straight into the question of the week. And this mm-hmm. question of the week comes from a UDAC. Uh, she's over in California. And she asks, can bounces be purchased or are they earned by a task slash challenge? You know, I, I've had a little bit of time to think about this one and mm. I can't think of any of them that are completely free. Um, yeah. uh, I think that every single one of them is uh, through purchase only. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there might be a few that, uh, that in the past we've set them up as a way to get them, um, through gameplay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but those, those are rare. Uh, the, yep. the majority of them are through purchase because of the amount of cap on points that you earn That's right. uh, from them over time, uh, yep. whether they're temporary or permanent. The only thing I can think of in, in that regard as well, Rob, is when she talks about bounces, maybe she's talking about the mech bounces as well. And mm, so yeah. some of the mech bounces, like, for instance, the spider bot, you know, um, yeah. you can win them during uh, surprise wheels. Ooh, see, That's there sweet. you go. This there is why go. we have not just me on the podcast. <laughs> I, I, I really, I've been, I was using my hat rack um, slash head to try and think, and I couldn't make it to that one. I thought about some mechs, and mm-hmm. in the past there have been a few mechs that um, that took an extreme amount of gameplay, sort of, yes. to get to them as well. Yep. So, yep. so yeah, good point. And yeah. there may be a few others. Yes, I like it. Good point. And and again, going back to the uh, my new my new uh, referral player. She got a she got a spider bot bouncer and she was so excited. She messaged me. She's like, I got this spider bot bouncer, blah, 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 blah. And then she messaged me back crying, like almost crying three or four days later. She's like, it's squashed. What happened to it? It's squashed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's in I my love archive it. list. Yeah. Yeah. I love how people though that uh they 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 find out new things in the game that we've we've always known as older players now. But uh yeah, yeah I, I still remember the days when I found out new stuff like that too. So it was pretty exciting. So yeah. And there That's you go. Cool. All right, Rob, we're moving on now to the Munzee tip of the week. And this one is going to be from myself because I, and I shared it on my social media this week. And it was while I was doing the Munzee walk on the long pier in Mississippi, Biloxi, as you've uh, pointed out before. Thank you, Rob. Mm -hmm. As I said before, it was a mix of greenies and fitness physicals. Now, Rob, I've got an iPhone and it's a newish iPhone as well. Like it's uh, not the brand new model, it's the one before it. And I started trying to cap these and, you know, it just wouldn't cap. And then I'd move my phone out and then all of a sudden it'd cap when I moved it away from the Munzee, you know, and then I started moving back and forward, back and forth, and it wasn't capping. What I did was, as I was doing that, though, I had with my other hand, I zoomed in on the screen, like push, like press and zoomed in on the screen. And all of a sudden it started capping again, like, like crazy, which is really, really quick, which is really nice. And I realized. The reason for that, Rob, is that it actually changes up. You've got three different cameras on an iPhone, so it changes up which camera it uses as you zoom in. So there is my tip of the week for everyone. If you are struggling with your physical caps and your phone is not capping for some unknown reason, try moving it forward and back away from the sticker at first. Or at the last resort that I did was uh, yeah, zoom in as you're moving it back and forward. Uh, and zoom in and fill up the screen a little bit more. So there you I'm, go. I'm I'm actually going to put this tip in in use um, immediately because mm-hmm. 
I've been having this problem as well. Um, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. We've been talking about this and we do have a fix coming for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my goodness. Sorry. Um, okay. Lost my, lost my talking. Um, <laughs> we do have a fix coming for this. There yeah. is a delay in the camera, even opening sometimes, yes. um, which is painful and we don't mm-hmm. like that. And we, we have a fix for that. But okay. we also have a fix for this because as we've talked about it, um, someone found if you zoom in and I, I think it might have been Mari because she's uh, a little bit shorter and so they use that for <laughs> some higher types and so she tests the way that she plays which is different yep. than the way that I play um, yes. so yeah so thank you for that tip to those yes. of you out there who are having this problem use this tip um, mm-hmm. continue to use it in the future because it is a yep. good workaround for different types of things um, yep. but but hopefully we're going to fix this soon and it's a, as you said as well, it's a good tip for those uh, who are a little bit uh, shorter than others and can't actually physically reach up or wherever to a Munzee. You can literally zoom in on your phone to try and get it as close as you can that way. So there you go, <laughs> Rob. Oh, look at that. Look at the time too. Very, very good, mate. So, so Rob, yeah, that, ends another, that ends another official Munzee podcast. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Munzee adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcasting app and join us next week again for another informative episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of mobile game players. So keep scanning, keep discovering, keep that Munzee spirit alive. Rob, ready? One, two, three, Munzee on! Munzee on! You're way late, that's way late. Nope. Right. Did it.